Solicitor General Jose Calida red tags progressive lawyer Neri Colmenares and other cause-oriented groups during his opening statement in the anti-terror law oral arguments Tuesday, April 27. In front of the Supreme Court justices, he mentions the recent raids into offices and supposed armories of communist rebels. Likewise, discovered in the armory were subversive documents, streamers, campaign paraphernalia of Congressman Colmenares, Bayan Muna, and Gabriela, and training materials on advanced revolutionary warfare. After the session was adjourned, Colmenares calls Kalida's statement uncalled for. In ordinary times, red tagging may be considered a libelous statement. But now, Your Honor, red tagging is a deadly offense. After his hour-long opening statement, Kalida lets his assistant solicitors general take the interpolations from justices. Associate Justice Rosemary Carandang asks ASG Marissa Galandines on the Anti-Terror Council's power to authorize warrantless arrest. Galandines insists the council's power was only to authorize detention beyond three days, not warrantless arrest. But Karindang points out authority to detain is equivalent to authority of arrest, because one cannot detain without arresting first. Both the Anti-Terror Law and its implementing rules and regulations say the Anti-Terror Council must give its written authority to take a person in custody. The Supreme Court resumes the oral arguments Tuesday after two months of postponements.